Hey guys, this is Flashing Number Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. So, for today, we have a party of three today. Oh, that rhymes. And judging by my gill, I did a little bit of grinding. Nothing much, really. Just learned a couple spells, not, nothing much. Let's take the wheel now, and... Oh my god, Realm is driving the airship? A ten-year-old is driving the airship. What would happen if she all of a sudden crashed the airship? Oh my god. But here we're supposed to go to the North East Continent here. Also known as Vela area. And before we hang on to that cave, let's walk around here. Ooh. There's a reason why I have a party of three. You'll see why soon enough. Hey, these fasteners from the previous episodes. It's been like, who knows? 15 episodes since I've seen these guys. Oh, whatever. Oh my god, it's that beast kid that we for forgot all about. But yeah, it's the same thing like before. If you attack him, he runs away. Really, I dare you to attack him, but he comes back quickly. He goes the same thing when you leap with him. And he joins us again. His name is Gaw, guys, in case you've forgotten. Gaw, nothing really special about him. He hasn't learned anything new. He's pretty weak, actually. And of course, no new rages since I haven't done any grinding. I won't be using Gaw anymore. I just wanted to, well, get him back. That, my friends, is the fastest party member we'll ever get. And I took some time to, well, heal up and get some new party members. But here, we have the cave on the velvet area here. Ooh, what's that? Yeah, I should have paused there for a little bit and actually said I'm gonna go back to the airship now and I'll bring it back. I should have said that before, but okay. And there's a reason why I put Realm in the lead here. Let's see what this takes us. Nowhere! Nice! Okay, backtrack and follow Interceptor now. What do we have here? Ooh, a new enemy here. Twin Sky. They are weak to fire and... Well, if you attack them physically, well, they counterattack with Drain Sickle, which is the same effect as Drain. Oh well, there we go. Easy enough. And we get a Poison Rod for that. Nice. Probably won't use it, but whatever. I have Strago equipped with the Holy Rod, so how's that for a change? It's much stronger. Alright, some thieves here. Let's talk to them. Dinosaur? How's that possible? We don't see them in the grass or forest. Yeah, that is kind of true. Like, they're like, who knows, 30 foot tall and... But then again, this is Final Fantasy, dude. Anything is possible. Anything. You can even kill a dinosaur. Jeez. Unless it's Yoshi, of course. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. The guy we met up earlier, Einstein. I'm talking about you viewers here who are clueless. <laughs> that is true. I mean, like, he never showed up whenever we had four members. Yeah, you were supposed to go there with three members, but we get a Berserker Ring. I wonder what that does. Hmm. If I can actually find it! Oh my goodness. Am I lost to there or something? Like, seriously. Okay, there it is. Okay, none of our party members can equip this, unfortunately. Absorbs fire damage, that's pretty cool. It gives us plus five strength. But none of our party members can equip it. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, let's head up here now. Yeah, this cave is pretty linear. Nothing really special, not that many secret passages. Unlike this one over here. If I can actually get down there. Oh, jeez, come on. Get there. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Get down one step two no okay up okay now go down okay that's not leading me there okay down there we go okay that wasn't very hard but here oh my goodness a monster in a box whatever shall we do yeah it's just a small normal enemy you can fight you can end it easily by using phoenix down on him because well he's undead so there you go Easy as that. He's also weak to fighter. You don't want to use a Phoenix down and end it cheap like I did right there. Oh well. And we get the Tiger Fang, the strongest claw item in the game for seven. For now, of course. 
But what I know from now, um, yeah, Tiger Fang is the strongest claw for Sabin, so yeah, let's give it to him later when we need him. Okay, this is getting to be really, really simple and short. One step away from the door, very nice random number generator. A stone is in the way. Whatever shall we do? Well, if you go down here and touch a switch, the stone moves down. That was the easiest puzzle ever. But here we get the Ichigeki, which is Japanese for sword or something. Let's check it out. Okay, I didn't want to rearrange it. Come on, go back. Am I seriously lost or something? Like seriously, look at this. Like, I'm having trouble finding the sword, but... And I had trouble with finding that Berserker ring. You're gonna be kidding me. It's gonna be down here, because this is where all those... Yeah, here it is. Ichigeki can only be equipped by Shadow. 190 tech, oh my goodness. Definitely the strongest katana in the game, viewers. But where is Shadow? I wonder where he is, but maybe Intercept will lead us to him. Who knows? Oh, speak of a devil, there's Shadow right there. Dead, I think. One step away from the door, game. One step away. There's a save point down there if you need it, but no, you don't. I'm gonna heal up, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. It didn't take me that long. Yeah. Heal up before you come here, because we're about to face a boss. It's Shadow himself. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. He's wounded, of course. Pro probably even dead. Who knows? Oh my god! Holy crap! Eh, I got you there. But yeah. Here's a new boss here. A behemoth king. He is weak to fire and holy. Now let me tell you straight out now, this... Spam him with fire, or fire run. Easy as that, just keep spamming fire run him and you'll win eventually soon. Now I, yeah, I probably want to go with Chainsaw for uh, Edgar since it's just awesome and does like massive amounts of damage. I want Terra to, to uh, trance on this one since I want double damage if it's fire run. Look at that, 3,500, I wonder how much it will do for Terra. Holy cow. Wow, look at that damage. Yeah, I'm just doing some HC Billy quotes here, but wow, look at that damage. Oh, we killed him already? That was so easy. Wait, what? From behind? Another monster appears? No way. So yeah, this is a true Behemoth King. He is undead. You can simply finish it up by using a Phoenix Down if you want, but no, I don't need to. I'm overly powered right now. I have Terra on Trance. Just keep spamming fire over and over again. Nothing has really changed about this guy. In fact, Kira or Kira could really knock him out if you want. Wow, look at that damage. 2,500, wow. He's also... Wow, I killed him with a chainsaw. I guess he's not immune to instant death, but... 5 AP points and... A couple spells learned. Oh, Terra learned Kuraga. And we get the Behemoth suits. Yes! Much better than the Moogle suits that I have equipped on... Uh, straggle there. Thamasa? Do we really have to go back there? Like, seriously? And the game's actually nice enough to actually fly us all the way back to Thamasa, and I'm going to be honest with you viewers. I forgot where Thamasa is, and judging by what happened earlier at the Folding Continent I forgot to mention earlier, if you didn't wait for Shadow, well, it's a different approach. It would actually be Realm lying on the ground there, not Shadow. Now if you saved him, there you go, he did the right thing. Good for you. You saved the best character in the game. Well, possibly, or the one with the highest evasion in the game. Anyway, he's our only ninja in the party, so there you go. Oh my, what a nightmare.
To be honest with you viewers, I thought Interceptor was actually a stray dog, but okay. These are, or that was one of Shadow's dreams there. You can get more and more scenes about his life if you proceed more, but eh, I'll show it later. That was only one of the few that you get. Oh well, but yeah. If if you actually uh, left the Folding Continent really early without waiting for Shadow, that would have been wrong. She would have said, my wounds are healing. Or something like that. You better be in bed still, Shadow. Yeah, he'll say the same thing, but well. And one thing is, if you actually killed Shadow permanently from the game, yeah. The Interceptor sass is given to Realm. Meaning if she gets attacked, the Interceptor comes and attacks the enemy for her. Okay, the Massa. It's been a long time since we've been here. Ooh, that's a really important hint of viewers. I'll do that next time. Eventually soon, of course. That's a side quest. Speaking of which, hey, how's it going? It's been a year since the world has been destroyed, really? I'm surprised because that's like... You're estimating how long this LP has been going. It's probably been going for almost a year by now, viewers. Yeah, I will finish this LP eventually soon, viewers, and start on my next one. But man, that's like foreshadowing right there. That was a like great estimate. It's almost been, been a year since I've started this LP. Hey, ooh, one kill per night? Yeah, I'd stay here, why not? Yeah, we have to heal our MP for a bit in the meantime. Okay. Ugh, I slept like a log. Yeah, that's what Luna says in uh, Final Fantasy 3 if you play the game. Okay. But really, the viewers or the players, they just come together, regroup, and that's it. What's going on, Realm? What? Okay, I'm not surprised because, well, if you bring Strago and Realm back to Thamasla, you get a special scene here. I'm not surprised since he, when you enter the town, well, that's when the cutscene unfolds. Gung Ho? Gung Ho? Nah. Gung Ho Fa Choi? It's actually pronounced Gung Hai Fa Choi, believe it or not. Besides, I do celebrate Chinese New Year. Oh shoot, I forgot. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, the scene kind of triggers up when you enter town, but when you try to leave town, it just comes here because I guess when you enter or if your character steps on that special pixel or, well, spot in the game, I guess the scene just unfolds for some reason. <laughs> and he died? Did he die? Yeah, what are you standing around for? You should be sitting down in your wheelchair by now, Gramps. Oh, jeez, now you sound like Guy Sensei all of a sudden. I remember my youth. Jeez. Where are you going? But for a senior, he actually is kind of strong since... Think about it. Of course. Like, he walked down those stairs like it was nothing. Okay, that's enough for the senior stereotypes. I'm getting really stereotypical now. Like, this commentary is getting really, really stereotypical. What does pride mean to you? No, it's just a matter of him being a really grubby old man who's trying to get back his pride and his youth. Sure you can, you're the granddaughter, you're supposed to sit down, you're only 10. You can paint as much as you want at home. Ooh, nice. Little keyword there. And we all know where that is, that's just north of town. Of course, we'll go there next time, for since, well, for one. I don't have time for this, I'm still on the shadow side quest. A bat? Are you talking about an Esper or something? I don't know. Okay, let's go to the item shop here. What do you have? Wow, they have nothing that I want here, wow. Do you sell shurikens? Come on, man. Jeez. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. But yeah, among, among exiting the village, Wow, very, very bad accent there. But when you exit the village, yeah, Shadow leaves 
the house or Lee's bed. I'll show you right now. Yep, he left. And Gung Ho is just lying down there. For some reason. <laughs> I think he died. I really don't know. You don't get a response if you talk to them, so no point in that. Okay, let's fly all the way to a new location that you guys never knew about. It's in the northwestern continent there. It's probably the most western or most northern continent or spot in the entire world map. But yeah, I knew about this location you guys never knew about though. I'll just tell you now, it's a coliseum. That's where Shadow went. If you want to get him permanently in your party, you have to stop by the casino. I mean, coliseum to fight him in battle. I kind of spoiled it there, didn't I? Yeah. But yeah, you want to go here? You see that area that looks like the opera house? Like many episodes ago? This is the Dragon's Neck Coliseum, my friends. Yeah, what he says there is kind of true. Oh my god, is that Ultros? Oh my god, the receptionist! <laughs> Ultros got a job! Nice. He got a job! But yeah, that's another hint. If you bet a potion or some crappy item like Phoenix Down, yeah, Typhon appears and blows you away. Literally. Yeah. These guys uh, explain how these battles are fought in Coliseum. I'm not going to explain it since it's really simple. You just obviously wager a battle or wager an item that you want. If you lose, you lose the item, which is why you have to save. Uh, sure, why not? You don't need an explanation for this. So yeah, the item that we got earlier, the Ichigeki, you want to bet that because, well, if you don't, you'll see why. But yeah, if you bet on any other item besides the Ichigeki, you don't get to face. Shadow here. Let's get Realm on this battle. Ooh, some awesome music here. Ow! Can't believe you actually hurt her little girl. Wow. Okay, and the controls are obviously. Oh my goodness! You got your ass kicked by a little girl. But yeah, all the commands are automatically controlled by the computer. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, equip all your characters with the best commands that you can think of, and they'll act it out in battle. So there you go. I'm fighting, don't you mean is fighting? That's like a small typo there, Square Enix. I caught that. You can't hide from Flash Fingal Zero and his good grammar. But yeah, Shadow has now joined the party permanently. So that makes 10 party members, guys, maybe 9, but whatever. So next time, let's play Final Fantasy VI Advance. We're gonna head off to Ebot's Rock and fight Hidon. So, not Hidon, or you know, from Naruto. So, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.